Hi, welcome to Miss Polari's speech and language class. And today's lesson is on executive functions. Um, how do you become a great student? Now, we've talked about that executive function skills are skills needed to be successful. And they are things like planning, initiation, time management, organization, that's another one. Awareness of self and others. And did I forget one? So planning, organization, and time management. Okay, so those are the six, six executive function skills that I teach. And they are to help students become successful. And not just students, as an adult as well. Um, so as I previously discussed, becoming a great student is involved demonstrating these skills, and I have listed some steps that you can do to become a great student. So number one, um, keeping your backpack and binder organized. So here's the organization part. So whether it's your binder, now whether it's your workspace area, or um, whatever, or later on when you go back to school, your backpack, you have to keep it organized by subject, and papers can't be everywhere. That means every day you have to put things in order so that you can see things clearly. So remember, organization is to arrange things in a way that you can see things clearly, okay? Um, another thing is have a schedule. So write a schedule what you're gonna do throughout the day. Now that you're home, you write down specifically what times you begin working on certain areas, but make sure that you write a to-do list. So before you start your day, you write that to-do list or at the end of the day, what you need to do for the next day. So do you need to write a report? Do you need to finish uh, math, uh, uh, English? Do you need to complete uh, assignments for Spanish or, or whatnot? So write down the things that must be done by the end of that day. So that is a to-do list. You can either write it or you can um, text it or write it in your phone app. Um, number three, make sure that you check either your Google Classroom or Edgenuity and make sure that you log on and look at both platforms um, because different teachers will assign assignments in these platforms and also that's a great way to check for when tests are due or when there's assignments that are due or any other information. Uh, absolutely what's necessary, number four, is check Skyward. How often? Should you check Skyward? Once every two weeks? No, 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 daily. Check Skyward daily because that will let you know do you have any missing assignments? Um, and if so, you can send an email to a teacher, you could do it, or you could just have that current correspondence uh, with your teacher to see if maybe she just hasn't uploaded um, that assignment or you just simply forgot. So check Skyward daily. Not weekly, not every other week, daily. Um, this is important when you get home from school or when you have dedicated a specific time to studying um, and it's time to do homework. Take a 30 minute break. Take a 30 minute break and then you use a timer. So use a timer on your phone um, and give yourself one hour to do that homework. And after that one hour, give yourself a 10 minute break. And then you go back to doing whatever it is that you need to do to complete your work for the day. But give yourself breaks and put the timer on your phone for at least an hour of uninterrupted work. And then go ahead and give yourself 10 minutes. Pretend you're in school. You're in school, you know, about 50, 15 minutes in a classroom up to an hour and then the bell rings. So usually you get about seven or eight minutes to go from one classroom to the other. That's your break. So do the same thing. Take a 10 minute break after that hour and just unwind so that you can have that energy to stay focused, okay? Another thing is, so make sure you study every night um, and dedicate an hour for homework every night or an hour um, every night to review um, material for a test that may be coming up. When you have problems, ask your teachers. 
email them, not just to tell them physically, but email your teachers any concerns and or thoughts. When you're at school, you always have access to Ms. Kinsey's uh, resource room. Go there, it's for your benefit to help you with understanding what the questions are in a test or just you need a quiet space to study or you need more time, okay? So Miss Kinsey, Mrs. Kinsey, she is the resource teacher. So go to her and ask for help when you're at school. And definitely emailing your teachers. Um, when you're in school, you need to try to listen in class and give of your best. Now I know, sometimes we uh, get distracted or it's difficult for whatever reason to focus but you have to be aware of what others are doing and yourself. So if you notice that you've just kind of stared into space and time has elapsed and everybody is working, then you got to get back on track because no one's going to do that for you. So when you notice that your attention has drifted, just get back on track. And if you don't remember what you were supposed to do, then you raise your hand, you ask for help, and if it's something to do with online learning, then you email your teacher and you request a, uh, a virtual meeting uh, so that you can discuss uh, the things that you either forgot or you just need more, um, more input to understand what the task is, okay? So you have to learn how to redirect yourself because no one's gonna do it for you. Sure, the teachers may notice and may say, hey, stay on task or continue doing what you're doing. But if you notice yourself, losing focus and you have to come up with your own um, techniques to get back on track by simply asking what were we doing I'm sorry I got distracted and I can't remember ask for help okay so give up your best ask for help and I gave you a good list of things to do here um, another thing is when you're reading something and you do not understand what the word is and that's every time write that word down go to dictionary.com and define that vocabulary word so that's for everything if you don't know the spelling of a word get on dictionary.com or Google and just write it out I usually just use dictionary.com and I will get not only the correct spelling of a word but the correct it has a button there for the correct pronunciation of a word so just in case you may be saying it wrong um, dictionary.com and that's for every time you're reading and you do not recognize the word or you're not a hundred percent sure what that word is look it up write it down and you've just learned a new word I hope these tips and techniques um, help you and I will assign an assignment for you to give me at least eight things of what you can do daily or weekly to become a great student oh let me add another thing uh, retake tests if you ever get D's and F's and you have the opportunity to retake the test most teachers will give you um, that uh, resource but it is on many of your guys' uh, uh, accommodations so also retake D's and F's that will definitely help you oh I forgot another one Make sure to turn in all your work. What? Turn in all your work. There's a difference. If you don't turn it in, you get a zero. If you turn in an assignment, at least you'll get 50 points. It's an F, but it's a lot easier to go from 50 to 60, 60 is a D, than from zero to 60 to at least pass, okay? So even if you're having a hard time doing an assignment, turn it in. Ask for help and turn it in, or turn it in if, if you're in a time crunch, okay? Because it's a lot better to go from a F50, 55, to a 60, 65 passing than from a zero. So that's my tip number, what, 14, okay? So I added those two tips. Turn in everything, all your assignments, turn it in on time. Um, and use dictionary.com.